Today I'm trying a no frame watercolor painting. What I did a while ago was I mounted a piece of watercolor paper on this canvas board. I made a very complete thorough video on the process of gluing the paper on the canvas board. I'll link it if you're curious and you want to watch that. And I'm finally getting around to test it out. I'm not very good at watercolor. I've only done it a few times, but I really like the look of it. I think it's very gentle. I like the transparencies. And I like kind of like letting the flow of the watercolor do random things. That's how I like to use them. And I forgot to mention that the reason I'm doing this is because I don't really like the look of art framed under glass. I know that's what you're supposed to do with a lot of art watercolor. You're supposed to frame it under glass to protect it and all that. I just don't love the look of it. I like a painting to be on a gallery frame like this on the wall. Don't love frames. I have some. These ink washes that I did are under glass. It looks okay, but I would prefer them not to be under glass. This is a test. Let's see if it works. The first thing I want to do here is try to see if the paint flows. It seems to go okay. The flow is not perfect if you're a professional watercolor painter. This might annoy you. The difference I feel like is that on my canvas, the paper mountain on canvas, the water tends to absorb a lot more and sink into the paper a lot faster. So when trying to paint, it, the paintbrush drags a little bit more on the paper as opposed to, I did a test on a separate watercolor paper. It's not great quality paper, but I just wanted to see the difference. And the water tends to stay at the surface, like puddles at the surface of the paper, and you're able to glide it a little bit more. But for what I want to use this for, which is mixed media, I think I'm liking it. I think it does the job. It's a little bit more coarse then flow is not as subtle and maybe perfect like the finish might not be as perfect but i want to finish this with acrylic paint sometimes i'll want to use maybe soft pastel on on top of it oil pastel on top of it charcoal and just kind of like add pops of bolder colors on top so especially let's say i want to paint a portrait i would maybe start with washes of watercolor and then finish the portrait with like bolder, more opaque colors. I think that would do the job for me. Again, given the fact that I don't want to frame it under glass and this looks really good. Like there's a nice thick border. I'm gonna finish this painting with a little bit of acrylic paint and I'll show you the final result.
My main worry with this was that the glue or the fact that I already soaked the paper in order to glue it on this canvas would alter the paper to the point where I wouldn't be able to use watercolor, but it didn't happen. As I mentioned, the watercolor sinks into the paper a lot faster, but it doesn't really bother me. I think it's a really valid option for what I want to do. I love mounting paper on panels like this because I can use them for whatever, like mixed media, charcoal, whatever I want. And at the end, I have a final painting that is ready to hang and there's no warping as well i noticed that with regular paper of course there's a lot more warping for me it's a success it works exactly the way i wanted it to if you want to know how i mount paper on canvas here's the video i go through it step by step if you like art subscribe and hit the bell for notification i'll see you in just a few days for another one thank you so much for watching